This ground is pretty hard. Um, you know, it looks like maybe the first round of burn down's already gone out. Maybe there's gonna be a second one come out. That would be the perfect time to apply a soil revive and come in with some residue RX. Hey everyone, I'm Ben Berkey. I'm a district sales manager here and we're actually in Southeast South Carolina. And uh, I got Bert Riggin, he's our agronomist for this area. And Bert, I just wanted to bring you out to this field we were driving by and we know that this is a no-till field. So we just kind of wanted to see what would, what would we start out with in this field. So after walking out here just this short distance, um, I've seen last year's soybean crop I've seen the year before that's corn residue still sitting out here. And I've noticed that the ground has almost no cushion. Now I have no idea how many years this has been in no-till, but this ground is pretty hard. Um, you know, it looks like maybe the first round of burn down's already gone out. Maybe there's gonna be a second one come out. That would be the perfect time to apply a soil revive and come in with some residue RX. We've got a lot of standing stalks, we've got piles of stalks, and then we've got the corn residue mingled in amongst, amongst it. You know, the soil revive is definitely gonna help with the tilth and loosen things up. You know, there's a pivot there, so I know it can irrigate, but at the same time, as sandy as this ground is, you wanna make sure that the water that you do put on actually gets down into the root zone. You know, sand has a, a real good ability to pack and prevent water intrusion. So if we, with the soil revive, we can help open up that, that tilth and allow water to percolate a little bit better. The residue RX is gonna really be a good thing because number one, it's gonna help basically turn all of this residue that's sitting out here into really, you know, frangible pieces that are gonna get broken up nicely by the planting equipment going, you know, going through it. Uh, it's also gonna help release any residual nutrition that's in this, you know, the amount of N, P, and K that's still trapped in these stalks because we're gonna be helping break this down, specifically the corn with the high lignin it has in it. We're gonna be taking a, away a place for disease to overwinter. So if we start this process now and continue, we will slowly reduce the amount of disease inoculum that this field accumulates because it doesn't have a house to overwinter in. I'd love to be able to sit down with a soil test and see what we got going on here. But just right now, the things that I can see that need to be done, those, you know, the soil revive and, and the uh, residue RX would be the two things that I'd be recommending to this grower mm -hmm. um, to get down before spring. On, on no-till, what uh, on what rate would you recommend that at? So no-till, since uh, obviously he's not going to be doing a whole lot of disturbing the ground. Um, again, with a burned down herbicide or something like that, I would recommend a pint of soil revive, and then the uh, the residue blend would could go out at anywhere from a pint to you know a quart. It just mm -hmm. depends. Um, with no more residue than what we have out here, probably the pint would work very well. Okay. Thank you, Bert. I appreciate you coming down here and helping us out. That's what I get paid for.